tree grow? Why does the wind blow? When does a flower bloom? How can a rocket shoot to the stars or land up on the moon? It's science and technology, engineering, mathematics. Get smart, keep it simple, let's learn about STEM. Hello, my friends. Today we're going to be learning about density. So what is density? Density is mass over volume. The symbol for density is the Greek letter rho and mass is measured in kilograms and volume is measured in meters cubed. So if you have a lot more mass in the same amount of volume, that is a more dense material or matter. So less dense, more dense. The tighter those molecules are packed together, the more dense it is. I have with me my handy dandy cart of wonder. So we're gonna try to do a little bit of a demonstration just here right now, and then we're gonna do one in a minute, just to explain what is mass, what is volume, in turn, what is density. So mass defines how much stuff is inside something. So we've got some hamburger buns here. I have four hamburger buns, and I have two cups. So volume describes how much space something takes up. These two cups are the same. They have the same dimensions. They take up the same amount of volume. So I've got these hamburger buns. To explain density like this, you've got, I'm gonna take just the top half. We can shove this in here pretty nicely, right? Maybe we could get the bottom half in there too. Yeah. <clears throat> So this is one hamburger bun per cup. So that's your mass over your volume. So that is one hamburger bun over one cup dense. If I push my hamburger bun and mash all that matter, all that stuff that the hamburger bun is made of really, really tight, I push those molecules that's making that hamburger bun together. I'm taking up a lot less volume. Same amount of bread, same amount of hamburger bun, same cup, but it's obviously taking up a lot less space here. So this is more dense because there's a lot more matter packed down real tight. So to give a little bit of a better visual, one hamburger bun, packed pretty loosely. Let's see if I can get another one in here. So now we'll have two hamburger buns in this one cup. So double the mass in the same volume. I think I might could go for three. Let's see about it. Oh yeah. So, this is a lot more dense. Definitely not as delicious. So you've got, again, if the cup maintains its shape, you've got the same volume as this cup, but there's three times as much hamburger bun in this one as there is in this one. So which one's more dense? This one. A lot more mass per the volume a lot less mass per volume, less dense. So I've got another fun little demonstration of how density in a liquid or a gas can change when their temperature changes. In our example, we use water. So when water heats up, those molecules get really excited. So those molecules go from being cool and tight and nice together and they get warmer and they get more excited and they start to spread out. And the hotter they get, the more they spread out. So what that leads to is it being less dense. Remember, because they're all spread out, there's more space, they're filling up the same volume, there's a lot more space in there, so it's less dense. That liquid that has a lower density rises to the top. So we're gonna look at how the temperature variation changes how quickly those molecules move around as well as how that less dense liquid wants to rise to the top. We're gonna have some different temperatures of water in these three jars 
One is missing, it's in the freezer right now. Uh, we're gonna show that the hot, the room temperature, and the cold water are gonna behave differently when we put these room temp jars on top of them. Based on what we've learned about density, we would expect that the hot water would rise really fast through the room temperature water and we should see some really quick mixing here. With the cold water, I almost expect to see absolutely nothing. I would be really surprised if even diffusion took, took place at that point because that water is going to be so cold that it's not gonna wanna rise at all. So I'm going to fill this jar with some hot water that I've been boiling on the stove. I'm going to grab the cold jar out of the freezer and then we're gonna mix some food coloring in so that we can see what happens. So this is our cold water. And you're also getting to see um, the condensation where the moisture in the air is cooling and clinging to the sides of the jar. Um, hopefully that doesn't keep us from being able to see really what's going on. But like I said, I don't expect a whole lot to happen in this jar. And then we're gonna take our hot water Okay, so we've got our hot water, our room temp water, and our cold water. We may even get to see, when I mix the food coloring in here, we may even get to see that water moving. So again, the, the water heats up and it excites those molecules and they start moving around a lot more than they will with the cooler temperatures. So as I'm adding the drops, we may get to see some of that movement. I'm gonna add about 10 blue. And you can already see the change in the movement of these liquids just as they're sitting there. This one's almost mixed itself. I am gonna grab a, probably a butter knife and mix these up, but you can already see the difference in the activity within these jars. That's crazy! that it's already mixed up. So now comes the tricky part of whether or not I can pretty cleanly get these full glasses of water onto these. Um, I'm almost gonna guarantee that I'm gonna make a mess. So I'm gonna put this here and hopefully not get water all on the floor. Oh! Okay. Oh. Let's try that again. I have decided I want to do purple. This is an amazing representation of the change in the density of water when it's warmed up. Because this jar was so much warmer, the water in this jar was so much warmer, it was excited, it was moving around like crazy, making that liquid less dense, which means it wants to rise up. So it very quickly rushed high. And like we assumed, like we hypothesized, the cold colored water stayed at the bottom. Not even diffusion is taking place right here because this water is so much colder. It's so much more dense than this room temperature water. It's staying down low. I am super happy with how this turned out. I hope y'all enjoyed getting to see the difference in, in density just within the same liquid when the temperatures are different. I had a lot of fun doing these demonstrations. I Definitely messed up the first go around pretty bad, but the second go around went really well. I hope that this was very informative. I hope y'all learned a little bit more about what density is. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Bye!